So Bob Father, Bob Aram says he's never seen Javante Davis fight. He's only heard about Javante Davis. Let's talk about this. But before we do that, make sure that you hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already sub to the channel. Yeah, now Bob Aram, he recently did an interview and I believe this was on Blue Blood Sports TV. I can't remember exactly where I heard it at, but I know I listened to a few Bob Aram interviews on, you know, a few different platforms, but I think this one was on Blue Blood. I could be wrong. And Bob Aram, the question came up about Javante Tank Davis and Teofimo Lopez. Now, we all know that at one point, Javante Tank Davis and Teofimo Lopez's name was linked to each other when Teofimo Lopez was at 135, and I believe he had three of his titles at that time. And one of the fights that people was calling for was Tank Davis and Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo was calling out Tank Davis, and then Calvin Ford, not Tank Davis, but Calvin Ford responded, and he had talked about, hey, that's a fight that we want. You know what I'm saying? That's a fight that we want. We want to fight Teofimo Lopez. And so everybody was excited to see that fight because it's a hell of a fight. Javante Davis versus Teofimo Lopez. And like I said, at the time, it was at 135 pounds. Although we know that that fight never came to fruition. But it was a fight that was in the fans' mouths. The promoters knew about it and everything. So recently... That question came up about Javante Davis and the Teofimo Lopez because we know that Teofimo has a fight this weekend against somebody named Pedro Campo, but it's Teofimo Lopez's debut at 140 pounds. In the past, we've seen Javante Tank Davis go up to 140 pounds and he knocked out Mario Barrios. So we're looking at this fight. And it's a fight that's a big mega fight still and it could happen at 140 pounds so like i said i believe it was blue blood he's interviewing bob aram and he asked bob aram hey bob what you think about you know javante tank davis because earlier in that interview i believe he had asked bob aram had he tried to sign javante davis while he was a free agent now bob aram's answer was well no i i you know i when i reached out to floyd mayweather floyd told me that was still his fighter so i didn't try to sign him i mean that would have been interfering with somebody else's fighter so yeah bob aram said before all of this right before what he said what i'm gonna get into right now what the title of the video is about bob aram had said that he reached out to Floyd Mayweather and Floyd Mayweather told him, nah, Javante Davis ain't a free agent. He's still my fighter. So basically back up off him. We ain't got nothing else to talk about. And Bob says, you know, after he told me that, it wasn't really nothing else for me to look into. So I backed off the whole situation. Oh, and that's understandable. You know, Bob says that, hey, I backed off a tank because Floyd said that it's still my fighter. He's not a free agent. He's still my fighter. In the same interview or a different interview, I can't remember, he was asked, you know, hey, what do you think about Javante Davis? And what do you think about Javante Davis in the fight with Teofimo Lopez? And I'm expecting Bob to give a breakdown. And of course, I'm expecting Bob to go with his man, Teofimo Lopez. But Bob, he gives a whole nother twist in his answer. He says, well, I've never seen Javante Davis fight. And I'm listening like, what? Wait, hold on. He says, yeah, I've never seen him fight before. I've heard about him. I've heard about his fights, but I've never seen one of his fights. And so I don't know nothing about Javante Davis when it comes to that. So yeah, I'm listening and I'm like, I know this man ain't gonna sit up here and lie right after he just said that he contacted Floyd Mayweather when he heard that Javante Davis was supposed to be a free agent, right? Now, my thing is, it's a stupid lie to tell Bob Aram. Now we've heard Bob Aram tell plenty of lies and I'll get into some of those right now. But it's a stupid thing to say when you just said that you contacted Floyd Mayweather when you heard that he was a free agent and Floyd told you, nah, he's not a free agent. Why would you contact a promoter about a fighter that you've never seen in the ring fight before? Come on now, that's your job. And Bob Arum is like, 
Well, you know, I have other things besides boxing. My life is just not boxing. I do other things outside of boxing. I don't have time to follow every fighter. Well, Javante Davis is not every fighter. He's a superstar. And all of these promoters, they know who the superstars in the sports are. And they know who the top fighters are. And they watch them. And especially if they think they're going to be a free agent, they keep an eyes out on them. So that's a bold-faced lie that Bob Arum told. And I'm surprised that he fixed his mouth to say something like that. But when you think about it, it really don't surprise me. Y'all remember when Bob Arum came out, he was saying that Al Heyman don't even exist. It's a fictional character to made up by Sam Watson. And remember, Errol Spence called him out on that. He said, well, Bob, I thought you said that Al Heyman didn't exist. You said he was a fictional character made up by Sam Watson. Huh? What? What'd he say? Bob, you said Al Heyman doesn't exist. Does he exist now? Have you talked to him? Oh, yes, I've talked to Al Heyman. I've talked to Al Heyman. I've seen Al Heyman. He does exist. So, you know, Bob Arum is really smart. And he knows how to get out of a question if he don't want to answer a question or go deep into it. And that's just what he did. But it was stupid. And I think it was Blue Blood that was interviewing him. And I know Blue was looking at him like, man, I'm not even going to question him about that. I'm going to just let him have that one. You feel me? But come on, Bob Aaron. You know who Javante Davis is. And now, when y'all was talking about setting up a fight between Javante Davis and Teofimo Lopez, now I know y'all was capping. I know you never had no intentions on setting up a fight with Javante Davis and Teofimo Lopez. I know you never had no intentions because you're sitting up here lying about not ever seeing a man fight. You're lying about not ever seeing a man fight. How was you supposed to set up a fight with Teofimo Lopez and Javante Tank Davis if you had never even seen Teofimo Lopez's opponent fight? Come on now. Come on now, Bob. I was born in the day, but not yesterday. Come on now, Bob. You trying to play boxing fans as some complete dummies. We know better than that, Bob. Come on. And that's why it's hard to listen or believe anything that Bob Arum says. Now, it's a lot of things that Bob Arum says that has a lot of facts um, to back it up. And that's a lot has a lot of truth in it. But he says a lot of things that has a lot of lies in it, too. And this is just one of them. I can't believe this. Once again, Bob Arum does an interview and says that he's never seen Javante Tank Davis fight. He's only heard of Javante Tank Davis. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Hit my like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subbed to the channel. And y'all already know how I do. Diego talking that boxing again. And I'm gone, y'all.